The telephone is a handy instrument. We can use it to talk to people who are in another building. We can even talk to people in another town. Let's learn to use the telephone. Here is a phone without a dial. Let's see how it is used. To make a call, you must know the telephone number. The directory has the names, addresses, and numbers. The last names are in alphabetical order. Frank Parker's name will be found under P. On the line with Frank Parker will be his address and telephone number. Write the number down so you won't forget. Now, let's make a call on the telephone. You talk into the end with the cord. Listen on the other. Make sure no one is talking on the phone. If no one is talking, the operator will say, Number, please. Tell her the number you want. Speak clearly. Talk right into the mouthpiece. That is how to make a call on the phone without a dial. Now, let's learn to use the dial telephone. Again, we need to know the telephone number. This can be found in the directory, same as before. Frank Parker's number is 25003. The dial phone is much the same. You talk into the end with the cord and listen at the other. Listen first to make sure that no one is talking. If not, you'll hear the dial tone. That means go ahead and dial the number. You must dial the numbers in the order given. The first number is two. Put your finger over the two and pull it down to the stop. This is the stop. Then let the dial go. Then dial the other numbers in order. Sometimes you will hear This means the line is busy. Hang up and wait a few minutes. Someone's using the line and you should give them time to finish their call. After a couple of minutes, you can dial the number again. When you hear this, It means that the other telephone is ringing. Let it ring about 10 times. Give the person you're calling time to answer the phone. When you are through talking, replace the phone carefully. The two buttons must be held down by the receiver when the phone is not in use. With wall phones, the cradle must go all the way down when the phone is not in use. This is a pay telephone. You pay for each call at the time that you make it. There are several different kinds of pay telephones, but all have directions on the front to tell you how to work them. Read the sign so you will know what to do. This one says, do not deposit money until operator asks for it. There are slots at the top of the payphone. You can use nickels, dimes, or quarters. When the operator tells you to deposit your money, deposit 10 cents, please. Put it in the proper slot at the top. You can put a dime in the 10 cent slot 
or two nickels in the five cent slot. Now let's review some of the things we should know about telephones. Never guess at a telephone number. If you are not sure, look it up in the directory. Before you use any phone, listen. Make sure no one is talking on it. Speak clearly. Talk right into the mouthpiece. Learn the dial sounds and what they mean. The dial tone means ready to dial. After you have dialed, you may hear the busy signal. Or you may hear the sound of the ringing phone. Then the pay telephone. Remember to read the instruction card on the front, which tells you what to do. And since you have to put money in the pay phone, be sure you have plenty of change. No matter what kind of telephone you use, hang it up carefully when you have finished. Thank you.